מרחבא, אנא דוקטור עופר גרוסברד, אלם נאפס, and from now on I'm going to talk in English. Ten uh, years ago, okay, I got a group of uh, Bedouin Muslim students uh, for um, educational counseling and I was asked to teach them psychology, developmental psychology about Freud and Erickson. So I got into the class and I started uh, teaching them. Uh, in the break, one of the girls came up to me and told me, do you want to hear the truth, professor? I told her, of course. She told me, nothing from what you teach us is going to help us. I, her name was Bushra. I, I asked her, Bushra, uh, why? She said, it's very simple. Uh, for me, uh, in my working as a, a, as a counselor, a parent may come and tell me the devil got into my child. So do you think all this psychological bubble will help? It won't help. I asked her, Bushra, what may help you? She said just one word, the Quran. For the next class, I came with the Quran. It was translated into Hebrew, so I, I got the book, 30 chapters, 15 students, you know, most of them be Muslim religious uh, women with head cover and everything. And I divided the chapters, you know, each student got two chapters and I asked them to extract from every chapter the psychological educational phrases. I got 330 beautiful phrases from the Quran that one have to respect the other and uh, how to relate to friends and to family members. You know, the Quran is very rich in human relations. A lot of phrases are directed to human relations, how to behave with others. I asked the students to write a short story to every such a phrase. How a parent or a teacher may use this phrase in order to convey the child the message. I got again 330 beautiful stories that only Bedouins knows how to tell. Colorful, dramatic, you know, the two children are fighting in the class and the teacher comes and says the phrase from the Quran and after that, silence, no problems, everything is solved, you know. To each such a story I added a very simple psychological educational explanation. Actually, this is, this is how this project came to life. Okay, it was published as a book, but the students said we are not ready to publish it as a book without a, a, an, an introduction from a, a, one or more sheikhs. Uh, why? Because they said you are a Jew and you are touching the Quran. It's very dangerous, you know, for us to, to, to appear in book like this without the blessing of, of the sheikh. So we found four well-known sheikhs that was ready to write a very nice introduction to this book. And, uh, and Yuli Tamir, she was at this time the Minister of Education, she, she also wrote an introduction. And this is how this project was, came to life and was uh, pre and presented Israel in the President Conference of 2008. And this is how the story... What kind of Wow, there was two kinds of, of, of reactions from the Arab world. Uh, there was a group of, of people like El Azhar in Egypt, you know, and uh, which is the, the religious center of the, of the Muslims. They didn't want to even to read the book. They said if a Jew wrote it, it can't be good. But I was, I was very satisfied to hear many, many different reactions from other sources especially from the media, from Al Jazeera, El Arabiya, uh, and um, El Madina in, South, in, uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia, NBC, and, and actually quite few Arab media uh, wrote very, very um, benevolent or very supporting articles about this project. And then, and then I was very glad to, to see that in YouTube, um, um, three, um, 30, uh, uh, 
the relations between those who support it and those who were against it was 1 to 30, 30 for this project. It was a YouTube uh, um, video that the Minister of Education uh, uploaded. Uh, this is, I think, a very good question because, you know, before, I can't think what happened to me. Uh, until this point, I didn't, I've never read the Quran, and I was very surprised to see many, many beautiful phrases in the Quran, especially around relating to the others, which is a little bit different from the Bible. The Bible is a lot of very nice stories, but here in the Quran, they emphasize about relations. And, you know, I had stigma about the Quran. Some terrorists use it before they are going to the missions and, and, and there are phrases like uh, uh, to kill all, the, all those who the don't believers, uh, as you have in the Bible. But I didn't know there are so many nice phrases in the Quran about education, about relations among people. That's what the, the, this project gave to me. I got time, it's clear to see.